This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV, the Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash EV9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. Hey, it's Kim Commando today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim. Fill that out and that's it. I always like to start with something interesting. And I was over at YouGov, the website the other day, and they had a list up of the most popular smartphones. Now, they define popularity by the number of people who have had a positive opinion about the smartphone. So let me ask you this right at the get-go. What do you think is the most popular smartphone right now? Make your guess. Come on, go ahead. Of the top 10, here's a hint. Eight phones are from the very same company. So which company is the winner? Spoiler, it's not Apple's iPhone. That's number eight and 10. It turns out that the Samsung Galaxy, there's just a slew of different models, and they take up slots one through seven and slot number nine. Wow, who would have ever thought? But, you know, if you ever take a look at the back of an iPhone, I want you to really just turn your phone over and look at it right now, because I think you're going to see what I see. It looks like a stove, doesn't it? I mean, seriously, you see three burners, and now once you see it, you're not going to be able to unsee it. And if you're wondering why it was designed this way, well, it's because of the Apple CEO, of course, Tim Cook. (laughs) Sometimes I crack myself up. And on that happy note, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, to this. It's America's largest show about all things digital. You can find us on over 425 top stations from coast to coast. And we're streaming in your favorite radio app. Just search for my list name, Commando. And, of course, we're streaming as a podcast, a webcast, commercial-free, all three hours. We have three months of archives over at GetKim.com. You can get a 30-day free trial right now. And after that, we offer tremendous discounts for seniors and service personnel and, of course, everybody in the military, former and current serving. And you can find us on the American Forces Network radio serving more than 375,000 American servicemen and women because, after all, I'm Kim Commando, and this is The Kim Commando Show. And our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 is the way to join us. And now you are about to get more tech smarts. Why? Because everything, that's right, everything is a tech thing nowadays. And if you're a new listener, hey, welcome aboard. And if you're a longtime listener, of course, welcome back. All right. I always like to start this part of the show with tech news that you need to know to keep you up to date in this whole tech race. And we're going to begin with TikTok. Now, it's been banned on so many state employee phones, and there are government officials in Washington trying to get it banned inside the United States altogether. Yes, no one here in the United States should be using TikTok. Why? Well, TikTok is owned by Communist China, and it's gathering every single user's photos, contacts, um, anything that you do on your phone, your face print, even your voice print. And who knows what China is doing with all that information? So imagine for just a moment if China wanted to do a coordinated attack or send a fake emergency message out to everybody's cell phones that it was a deep fake video of our president. Or perhaps these phones could be part of a plan to take down the power grid. It's all a possibility. Plus, TikTok has been known to censor content and suppress free speech, which goes against what? Principles of our own democracy. Now, the problem, there are about 332 million people who live here in the United States. Last number I saw, about 165 million people are using TikTok every single day, an average of 68 minutes a day. Wow, what a loss of productivity, isn't it? So here's my advice. If you have to use TikTok, if you love TikTok, you're like, Kim, I can't get rid of TikTok. I learn so much. I laugh. I'm entertained. It keeps me from being lonely. Well, what I want you to do is find an old device, an old phone, an old tablet, even an old laptop, whatever you might have. And then I want you to put TikTok on that and only use that old device for TikTok. Don't do any personal information. Uh, Don't go ahead and do your banking on it. Just make it an old device. It's a throwable device. And then you only use it for TikTok. All right. Number two on our list is finally Facebook is going to lend a hand. That's right. I get these calls all the time. 
help, Kim, I'm locked out of my Facebook account. I got hacked. And of course, Facebook, they don't answer any emails. They certainly don't have a phone number. And so, yes, the company with 3 billion monthly active users and $70 billion in revenues, they have finally decided, hey, maybe we'll lend a hand. So if you're locked out of your Facebook account, you're struggling what to do with all that free time, now there's a new way to get back in. Facebook has a new live chat feature that lets you connect with customer service who can help you regain access to that account. Now, this is really useful for anybody who has forgotten their password or maybe uh, you've been hacked. So to use the chat, so go to the Facebook homepage. There's a chat icon from there. You're connected with a rep who can assist you. They say resetting your password, getting back into your account. Now, I should remind you that Facebook is no longer Facebook anymore. It's now owned by a company called Meta. Still the same management who never met away. They couldn't sell your data. Thank you. Moving on to number three, remember the A in AI stands for artificial. Artificial. What does that mean? It's not real. Reports from plastic surgeons all across the country that they are receiving requests from patients to look like portraits created by the Lenza app. Oh, how sad is that? You see, the Lenza app, it's all the rage, makes you look like somebody who you're really not because it's using, yes, artificial. Remember, artificial intelligence. And so some people are taking the results too seriously and say, hey, I want to look the same as my Lenza avatar that was done by AI. They want bigger eyes. They want bigger cheekbones. They want a different jawline. They want bigger lips. My gosh, I know this is totally on tangent, but have you seen what Madonna looks like lately? Oh, God, she really does look like a material girl. All right, just remember, instead of trying to emulate unrealistic images, embrace and love one's natural appearance. Hey, don't be going to some plastic surgeon doing any of that. But, you know, filters are nothing new. In the 1900s, let's go back in time. We were used to, we had, that was the first time we were able to filter what? Coffee, coffee, that's right. In the 1950s, we had filters for what? Yes, those nasty cigarettes. And then the 1970s, we had filters. All right, we started filtering our water. And now here in 2022, we want to filter our face we want to filter our body, and we want to filter our soul. Sad. All right, moving on to number four of our top five things that you need to know, the all-powerful Oz. Well, not the Wizard of Oz. I'm talking about the Internal Revenue Service. The tax man now knows how much you make down to the penny. That's right. And if you did a job and you got paid using a digital wallet app like Venmo, PayPal, or the Cash App, there's no skirting around it, folks. You better make sure that you report the correct amount of self-employment income for 2022, as we get here near the end, make sure that you have all the receipts that you're going to need. Because here's what's happening. Any self-employed person needs to report their income and pay taxes. Okay, that is nothing new. Okay, we've always had to do that. But what is new now is that the Internal Revenue Service knows every single transaction that you're making in those digital wallet apps. So now, should your transaction add up to $600 or more annually, you have to report it as income. Now, here's the problem. If you used Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App for things other than work, you better have proof that not all your Venmo or such transactions are not business income. So that's why it's a good idea. If you are getting paid on any of these digital wallet apps, make sure that you have two accounts, one for your personal account and one for your business account, because the IRS is getting copies of every single transaction. And finally, this, coming in at number five, Twitter's fire sale. Yes, and I know what I want. Elon Musk has been certainly cleaning house. Literally, he fired about 80% of Twitter employees. And guess what? The company is still functioning. People are saying, we don't know what's going to happen to Twitter. He's firing everybody. Yes, he fired 80%. And would you believe the company is still thriving? And uh, I was watching Tucker Carlson the other night, and he played this recount. It's an actual TikTok video. And so listen to this real-life account of what it's like to work at Twitter as posted on TikTok. Welcome to a day in my life as a Twitter employee. So this past week, went to SF for the first time at a Twitter office, badged in. Honestly, took a moment to just soak everything in. What a blessing. Also started my morning off with an iced matcha from the perch. Then I had a meeting, so quickly scheduled one of these little pod 
rooms, which were so cool. They're literally noise canceling. Took my meeting, nice. got ready for bunch. Look how delicious this Went food looks. Oh my goodness, Ooh. I was so overwhelmed. Then made my way down to this log cabin area. I don't know what this is, but it was really cool. Played some foosball with my friends to kind of unwind a bit. Yeah. Um, also found this really cool meditation room oh, yes. that I Stressful. thought was super neat. Um, I didn't do any yoga, but they have this yoga room if you were a yogi. So also thought that was really cool. Um, had a couple more meetings in the afternoon. Had a ton of projects that we needed to knock out. Say hi, Tough day. Um, went to the went to the library to kind of get some more work done. Obviously had to have our afternoon coffee, so made some mm -hmm. espresso. And then before leaving for the day, had some red wine. Um, that's on tap. When Yes, the red wine is on tap there in the Twitter headquarters. Oh, my God. What a stressful day she had at Twitter. Oh, my gosh. I don't, no wonder why she needed the red wine on tap at the end of the day. I mean, you know, I, the meditation room and the yoga. What is she going to do? Twitter is hosting an auction on January 17th where it's going to sell a lot of stuff from its office. Everything must go. The, wid, the wood bluebird statue uh, they have espresso machines, wooden lounges, uh, even multiple refrigerators. And get this, a vegetable dryer. Who knew that you needed one in those your corporate headquarters? So in case you need information about that, we have it over on our website and stay right where you are. We're going to be talking about getting snow alerts. And of course, we have our privacy tip about some scam alerts. And later on, what's happening with barcode stickers and gift cards that you need to know about. And of course, you have more of me, Kim Commando. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't. And that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year, with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hey, our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 is the way to join us in just a few moments. How to get snow and weather alerts and notifications brr, on your phone automatically. And how about we get this hour started with Maristad in San Antonio, Texas. All righty. So here's the situation. So my boyfriend, um, he's, in, he's currently incarcerated in Texas. Um he uh so he has like all his gps coordinates and all his uh, screenshots of where he was to prove his innocence on his google photos and so um he was very concerned because um after being gone for so long and for his account not being touched for so long he was afraid that all that was just going to diminish away so um, I was wondering how we could try and preserve his Google photos so they can always be there because he can use that in trial because his Google photos, that's all his innocence right there. So um, what's, he, we just what's he accused of? Um, just his ex made some very bad accusations of him with um, her oldest daughter at the time. Mm -hmm. This was like long time ago but he she had made some accusations about him that weren't true okay and so are these google photos is this how long that this has been going on um on his google it's um like like gps coordinates and like screenshots of where he was at the time just kind of like stuff like that we were just mm -hmm. wanting to see how like how to preserve that so none of that okay. gets like taken away Okay, well, here's the deal, uh, is that Google has something called that, that's called Google Takeout, okay? okay? Google Takeout. 
Mm-hmm. And it's a it's a free tool that you can use. It will ex- export all of your Google data as if you wanted to back it up. And mm-hmm. it actually supports 51 different types of data. So you're going to get your, your mail, your drive content, your calendars, your bookmarks, uh, activity on YouTube, and a whole bunch of that. And so basically you're going to de- retrieve and download all the information that Google has about you. Um, mm-hmm. And when you do when you do go to this area, I want you to make sure that you check every box okay. that you have along the way. Uh, and so again, that's called Google Takeout. And when we when we uh, when I we, I put you on hold, we'll go ahead and send you a link to that. But but I want to ask you mm-hmm. a question, okay? And I'm yeah, not yeah. talking to you as a as a as a tech expert now. I'm talking to you as woman to woman, okay? Mm-hmm. Can you find somebody who's not in jail? I mean, this. Think mm-hmm. about this, okay? Just think about this, okay? You're set. Mm-hmm. How old are you? How old are you? I'm tw- I'm 21. Oh, my gosh. You're too young for this. You're too young for this, to put yourself through this. I mean, mm-hmm. you're, you're, you're putting up, you, you have a guy who's in jail, and now you're mm-hmm. trying to, to prove that he didn't do something to his ex-wife's daughter, and you're going to go, go help him prove that he's innocent and all this other stuff. Okay. There's mm-hmm. a big world out there. There's a big world. And there's... There are so many other really great guys who don't have a record, who are looking for a beautiful woman like you, somebody who will care for them and love them. And I'm talking about internally because you must really care about this guy if you're willing to call me and ask me how to preserve his records. And you believe Mm -hmm. him and you want to believe him. But Mm -hmm. you can do better. You can find somebody who will be with you today, tonight, every night, not with an history, not with a past, and where you can create a future, a great future together without all this baggage along the way. Because you know what? He was in jail. This is, this is never, ever, ever going to leave you or him for the rest of your lives. Mm-hmm. And then what if you have kids with this guy one day? What are you going to tell him? Dad was in jail? Wasn't his fault? No. You don't want to do that. Just, you know mm-hmm. what? I know it's hard because, you know, we've all been there as young women that, you know, we think that this is the guy. And, I, I, and, mm-hmm. and I'm sure you get lectured from everybody else, but I don't know you from Adam. But I'm just telling you that, that mm-hmm. you, can do, you can do better. I know you can do better than a guy who's sitting in jail. Don't throw your life away. Don't do that. Pick yourself up. Move to Phoenix, Arizona. Move to Dallas. Put yourself through college. Create a career. Create yourself. Be yourself. Find out who you are. Find that out. And know that there's more for more in life for you than this. Than dating some guy who's probably twice your age who's in jail and has all this history and baggage. Hang on the line. We'll send you the link in case you still want to do it. But I hope you'll take my advice. Yeah, let's just hope that she doesn't end up with three babies from this guy. Ugh. All right. Yes, the nation is just blasted by snow. Now, let me tell you, you could be in the know if you open up your Apple Weather app and then you can tap on the folded map. And then there you can see a rolling forecast of what's going on. In addition to that, in your settings menu, you can set location notifications. Now, Android owners, I'm not going to leave you out in the cold. Google's weather map is baked right inside your Android phone. Just add a widget to your home screen for the latest weather updates. And you can also set up notifications inside there, too. And speaking of snow, if you need a good eight-character password, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is not a good one. Stay right where you are. We have more of the show coming up you don't want to miss. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't. And that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. 
Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year, with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Rocketmoney.com slash Kim. All right, before we go back to all of your phone calls and our digital privacy tip just moments away about five text messages you just have to ignore this holiday season is let's talk about Zoom calls. They're not just for boring work meetings anymore. If you have family scattered around the country, schedule a holiday or Christmas Zoom call. Now, here are four clever ways to make that Zoom party special. First, set the date and send each person a holiday gift package. Maybe there's a gift card, candy canes, hot cocoa. Mm, Love that. Number two, no surprises. Tell everyone before the Zoom call that you'd like each person to speak for just a few moments about what they're thankful for this year. Uh, Next up, set up a fun dress code. Ask everyone to wear an extra ugly Christmas sweater to liven up the screen, and then you can have a competition for the worst one. And finally, number four is that there's holiday trivia games that you can play online and share in Zoom calls, and you can put up cash prizes. Online Pictionary, I love that. It's always a blast. Online bingo. And then if you have a really festive bunch, what you can do is get them to sing Christmas carols and then save that because that's going to be a really funny video later on. And speaking of Christmas carols, here's a bad joke for you. Ready? What Christmas carols? What Christmas carol is banned from the psychiatric ward? Do you remember which Christmas carol that could be? Do you hear what I hear? Oh, I know. Sorry about that. Uh, let's move on to better things. Greg in Taylorsville, North Carolina. Welcome. Hey, Kim. Thanks for taking the call. Um, I'm not even a techie, but I've been listening for years. You draw me in every time, and you're punny. (laughs) So, (laughs) well, finally, somebody appreciates this in my life. Thank you. You're well. You're welcome. Um, We have a a horse farm here in North Carolina, and we board and train and give lessons, and and um, lots of people come through. Um, We have summer camps and 4-H and host the Boy Scouts, all kinds of things. And and it's about 100 acres, and we have arrangements with other property owners around, Um, and we have rivers and creeks, and uh, and so there's lots of trail riding, and people come in for these events, and and, and they, they walk the trails or ride their horses on them. And uh, well, and you know what? what? And you have never ever invited me. Never. I, you're invited. Come on. <laughs> we'll we'll, okay, we'll find a horse. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> That's funny. But it's 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 really beautiful back in there, and and the trails are are you know they've got names and they're labeled, and I've got you know little signs I make out of wood I've sawn, and and um, and what I'd like to do is is have a laminate a, like a QR code on these signs throughout the woods and um, be able to, somebody could scan it with their phone and you know, say the waterfall trail and, and it would show a map of the waterfall trail and, and maybe a, a GIS county map that, you know, with it superimposed on it or, you know, a, a, a scan of QR code on a duck box that I built and, and you could see video of ducks using that box or deer and beaver. I've got tons of videos and photos from wildlife cameras and i've also researched deeds for 20 years so i can wow. i can show deeds for from 1840 and there's mm-hmm. a tree that's still there and i can show it so all you know i'd like to have codes for all of this where people could go and kind of get the history of this farm and the layout of the farm just by scanning these these codes and i don't know how to do that um okay well i gotta ask you one question Okay. What's the cell phone signal like it back in there? It's it's fine for most of it. I mean, there there are some dead spots, but um, it's it's pretty much everywhere you can get cell. So. Okay, well that's um, good. So I'm gonna let's talk about two two methods. Okay, okay. Uh, number one, your QR codes is a great idea because if somebody just holds their phone up, just like you're at a restaurant and you see a menu. You're going mm-hmm. to see all the information on a website about this particular area, and they can look at videos and and uh, photos and, like you said, the historical facts and figures and the fun things and all that other stuff. And just by hitting it, mm-hmm. just holding a QR code up to the sign. 
And there are a couple of websites. You don't have to write them down. We'll send a link to them. But one is called um, mm-hmm. QR Code Monkey. The other one's called QR Code Generator. And they create these codes absolutely free. It's not a big deal to create a QR code and laminate it. Mm-hmm. But one of the, let me give you an option. Okay. All right. And this one, this one is going to be, it's going to be a lot of work. But it's sort of the QR codes. Mm-hmm. But you could create your own Google Map and of the of the property right and what i like about if you create your own your own google map and you could put the latitude longitude in and like i said there are layers uh that you could do but you could also offer the option to people download this map offline meaning that they could download the app you can give all the instructions they just download this map and then as they're walking around if they lose a cell phone signal they're like oh darn it i don't know what that is Uh uh-huh and so, yeah. so there are ways for you to create your own Google map. And then in addition to that, if they get lost, they can always find their way back. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, they, and you could always put on like nearest restrooms or nearest way back or uh, here's the souvenir shop or so you can create landmarks along the way because I'm sure – you don't. I mean, there. I'm sure there are places in between the QR codes that you'd like to mention something, or have a seat here, or stop here and smell the the lilacs in the spring, or whatever it may be. Uh-huh. And so you could create your own Google Map that would the Google Map would it would have in itself the videos and the descriptions. And what's also nice about the Google Map is that you can allow people to actually share that map with others and you could put like social sharing next to some of the videos. So if you like this video, share this out to your Instagram account and let other people know about our horse farm with trail riding and everything else that we have here. So Mm -hmm. it becomes more of a marketing tool. It becomes a marketing tool plus an informational tool. Right. And so where does the data sit? Does it exist on the cloud somewhere? Or well, it exists on the cloud it? until until if they if, until they if if they wanted to, they would exist on the cloud. But you could give them the option to download it, uh-huh. uh, and so then it would become an offline what we call an offline map. But the offline map would be accessible anywhere on the property, depending, and it wouldn't matter who their cellular carrier was, because you right. know as well as I do. I may get five bars in more places, but you only get two bars in most right. places, <laughs> even though we're standing right next to each other. And, you know, it's just it's like, how come that happens? I don't understand. Well, we all understand because of the triangulation of the cellular towers. But um, let me do this. Let me give you links for both. Okay. And then you take a look at it. And then if you have any questions afterwards, anything that I can lend a hand to, just give me a call back. We'll take it to the next level about putting these maps. But I think it might be kind of a cool thing because now if you have your own Google map, you can share it on all of Google maps. So if anybody's in the area, they can say, oh, wow, this looks like a fun thing to do uh, while we're here. So I'll post links to both of these over at commando.com in the community. That's commando.com slash community in the Q&A forum. And Greg, um, we'll send these out to you directly when I get them probably the first part of next week. I won't have a chance to pull all that together for you. And Greg, once again, thank you for your call. Another sweet thing you can do is embed that personalized map right into your website. Nice. All right, here are five text messages you have to ignore this holiday season, starting with number one. You get a short or single text that says, hi, that's all, or how are you? What they're hoping is that you're going to answer back, and then lo and behold, before you know it, they're going to be asking for your credit card number or some cash. Second on our list are those missed delivery notifications. Criminals are using that to trick you and say that, hey, we need some extra money, or I'm your friend, and I can help you out. Get your package somewhere. Just ignore it. Uh, Three on our list is that you've won a prize. Lucky you during the holidays. Mm, Okay, you didn't win. Uh, Number four is that you get a notice from your bank that it's a possible bank bank fraud alert, and did you approve a transaction? Say yes or no. If it's not from your bank, uh, just ignore it. And it might be from your bank, so that's when you want to call them up directly. And finally, number five is that you get text from somebody that says, I got a package delivered to my house that's yours. Okay, how did they get your phone number? Okay, so just ignore it. Now, if you have some folks in your family that might be vulnerable for falling to for these type of scams, 
And what you want to do is just don't keep this knowledge to yourself. Head over to commando.com, hit the link that says Kim's show, and then share that link out with everybody that you know, because after all, knowledge is power. All right, still to come, we have more of your phone calls here on the Kim Commando Show that you don't want to miss. Forget the pressure to be crushing your workout on day one. Just starting is what matters. Wherever you're beginning and wherever you want to be, start moving with Peloton Bike, Bike Plus, Tread, Row, Guide, or App. With thousands of classes and over 50 Peloton instructors ready to support you from day one. Remember, doing something is everything. Get started with a Peloton bike or Bike Plus rental at onepeloton.ca slash bike slash rentals. All access membership separate. Terms apply. All right, just a quick reminder, if you have not already entered over at commando.com slash win, you can enter to win a $500 Amazon gift card. Just type in your name and email for your chance to win. And then what you can do is get additional entries by referring your friends, subscribing to our podcast, and liking us on Instagram and Facebook. So make sure that you do all that to get a whole bunch of extra entries. The way to enter again is commando.com slash win. All right, Paul from Cincinnati, Ohio. You're up next. Oh, Kim, first of all, I'm a huge fan. I've followed you for years, and I love going to your website to get some updates on things that I might have lost track of over time. So I appreciate all that you do for us. Uh, but what the reason for the call, I recently started officiating high school volleyball. And that's a pretty oh, busy schedule. Yeah, it is. It's a great time. But as I got busier with that and then trying to manage my social events as well and keeping track between my wife and I, who has what going on on which days and what times, it's become a, a logistical challenge for me to share with her what I'm doing and then vice versa, for her to share with me what she's doing and then any joint events we have together trying to coordinate all of that. So I just was curious if there are any, I guess I'll call them shared calendar apps mm -hmm. available where we could enter them. She could enter it from her phone or wherever and I could view it on my phone. And uh, what kind of, what are, you, what are you guys using? Android, iPhones? Mm -hmm. what's we are on iPhones. Okay, perfect. Actually, you have a really, really simple solution. Uh, number one is that if uh, if she wants to go to dinner with you, you are always free. Okay, <laughs> that's <Yeah>. it. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yes, it's just I am free. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is when she says, "Hey, listen, you know, let's go grab a cocktail and something to eat and spend some time together." Absolutely, I am free at that given moment. Um, Good advice. Now, with uh, and I'm going to send you a link on how to do this. So just we just we'll just chat about it. Is that with okay. your iPhones, you also have I know everything on Apple's i right. With your iPhones, you have the iCloud, and you have your both of you have calendars on your phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a calendar that's shared on iCloud. Okay. And so that this way you're going to share your calendars, and so you both can see it. You can add or change events, but you could also create a read-only version. I don't think you'd want to do that because that would kind of defeat the purpose, but just if anybody's right. listening, you, you could create a, a read-only version. So essentially what you're going to do is you're both going to have your calendars, but you're going to share them with each other, and then that's it. You don't have to buy an app. You don't have to do anything. It's all just built in. It, it's that easy. Much simpler than I anticipated. That, that's wonderful. You, Thank you so much. You betcha, Paula. Hang on the line and we'll send you out a link so that this way you can get started with it right now and appreciate your kind words. You know, iCloud is really powerful. And make sure that you use the calendar notifications. So this way you can set up notifications on events on your shared calendar. And you can also sync your calendar to a whole bunch of other devices. So if you have multiple devices, you can sync your shared calendar to just all of them, which is just let me tell you, just so super handy. And if you ever have a question for me, you know, of course, maybe you're just too shy to come on a big time national radio show and podcast. Well, that's where you can always send me your note. Now, you can do this on social. Absolutely. So whether you're following us on uh, Twitter.com slash Kim Commando, Instagram.com slash Kim Commando, Facebook.com slash Kim Commando. And if you're ghosting me, oh, come on, give me a great holiday gift and follow me wherever you go on social media. But I'm going to give you a secret that if you send me your note through the website, go to commando.com. And in the upper right-hand corner, there's a link that says email Kim. I am 100% 
assure you that I will read and not miss any single question from you. So again, that's commando.com. And then in the upper right-hand corner, there's a link that says email Kim. And again, that's where that magic happens. All right, last minute holiday shoppers, watch out. You might need to inspect the back of those gift cards because the newest scam on the block are imposter barcode stickers. I, I tell you, you know, these guys and gals, they just never stop. And it's really hard to detect unless you're really looking for it. What happens is that the scammers are slapping these phony barcode stickers on the back of real ones. Then they sit and wait for you to purchase the gift card with that code. Now, if you're not paying attention at the cash register, your cash goes straight to the thief and the scammer. So you just gave them a present. Now, you know by now that there are a lot of scammers. So what can you do? I want you to stop, okay? Because we're all in a hurry and that's when we make mistakes. I want you to stop and take a good look at the back of whatever gift card that you're purchasing. Then rub your fingers really slowly and carefully over the barcode. You know, does it feel right? Is there something? Is, that, is there maybe something covering it up and you see different numbers? So don't get that gift card. Maybe give it to the manager on duty wherever you're buying. So if you are looking for gift cards for your family members and friends, you know, buy them at the site where you're going or buy them at the store because that's always the safest route. Now, don't forget, knowledge is power. So as we get into 2023, more than ever, we need to make sure that all of our family members and friends are having a great digital life. So make sure that you share my podcast, my show with at least three people. And you can find me 24-7 at commando.com. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she had just launched her new side gig, a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live. Spin your passion into a business with Shopify and break sales records with the world's best converting checkout. Let's hear that one more time. The world's best converting checkout. Shopify's legendary checkout makes it easier for customers to shop on your website, across social media, and everywhere in between. Now that's music to your ears. Any way you spin it, you can be a smash hit with Shopify. Start your dollar a month trial today at shopify.com slash records.